Do you prefer dairy to a date? I don't feel sexy as much as I should. Has all the fire in your life been replaced by wind? <coughs> Nutritionist Jillian McKeith is on a mission to change this woman's diet, whether she likes it or not. Party, party. It's officially over. You know, I am a lot bigger than you. Oh, she laughs at everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've got just eight weeks to help Alex to feel alive and full of sex appeal. But will her relationship survive the challenge? Okay, fine. Bye. I can see right through you. turns to food for comfort and it's harming her body and her mojo. She needs to cut the emotional ties to her bad diet and reclaim control of her life. Outgoing Alex is unhappy about her weight. When I look in the mirror, it's disgusting. Ew. Often I'm upset. Gross. Or just like, ooh. For this tubby 26-year-old, there's no mood that can't be elevated by food. I love you. Food is definitely an emotional vice for me. Large pizza? That's right. Yeah, I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad, so I'm kind of screwed either way. <laughs> she chews on chocolate, cheese, and buckets of ice cream. Ice cream's my favorite. I'm very fond of dairy. Every time I eat dairy, I get really, really congested. Mmm, delightful. Alex lives with her boyfriend, Mark. Part-time, that is. I work very far away from home, seven months of the year. Bye. So I'm alone a lot, which kind of sucks. She tends to lose a little bit of weight while I'm gone and then puts it back on when I come back. Can't imagine why. When she cooks, she tries to be healthier, and, and unfortunately, I, I tend not to like that stuff. It would be a big lifestyle change for me to go without typical greasy fare. And it's not a diet that requires much prowess in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not the greatest of cooks. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to make too many things. Clearly. But Alex wasn't always this ample. I met Mark six years ago. I looked good, I felt good. I thought she was very exotic and very attractive. Just a year later, her life took a sudden weighty turn. My mom got cancer and then she died. My sister was 15. And I went into taking care of everything but myself. And the only thing that made me happy was food. But eating through her low moods is putting a strain on her relationship. Alexandra does not feel sexy right now. I feel like I should be more active in intimacy with Mark, but I'm not, really, because I don't feel good about myself. And she's often very sad and uh, very emotional about her, her weight. Basically lost my groove, and I want it back now. Good grub guru Jillian McKeith is just the woman to turn this tubby 20-something into a vivacious vixen again. Alexandra, is that you? Yes. <laughs> what is this? Just a couple chips. What are they doing in your home? I felt like I was getting yelled at by my mother. I felt really bad. I can't imagine what the rest of your kitchen must look like. In fact, I'm going to go and look right now. Right, so this is your kitchen then, is it? Yes, it is. Where do you sit? On top of the microwave? Uh, uh, in the living room. I'm on the sofa? To eat your dinner? Yes. It's not hygienic, and it's not helpful for your digestion. OK. You must be addicted to chips. Yeah. And chocolate? I like to munch on chips every so often. Or is this the way you eat all the time? Yes. If she eats badly, and have no fresh food in the house. Where's the fridge? God, how much cheese can one person eat? Are you addicted to cheese, or is it just a dairy thing? Uh, got it's got kind going? of a dairy thing. Oh, more dairy. Oh, low fat. <laughs> how funny is that? No, I try. Try? Well, every time I eat dairy, I kind of get congested. Really? Oh, hello. <laughs> I knew she was going to freak out at me for that. Oh. Alexandra, take this. Yes. You are dampening down your mojo with all this added sugar, and all this sap fat through all this excessive amount of dairy, your mojo has become your lojo. I didn't really realize that my food is directly related to your mojo. I've got something to show you right now that's okay. going to change your life forever. Listen to me. I've calculated that you eat the equivalent of eight and a half cups of butter a week and 34 cups of butter in a month. <laughs> okay. If what I'm eating is the equivalent of that much butter, that's pretty disgusting. You would rather be snotty, party, burping, <laughs> headachy, tired, no mojo, only with a lojo. She's not really letting me in yet. But the truth is, you're going to end up looking like a slab of butter if you get up. <laughs> she laughs at everything. Alex definitely has a defense up at the moment. <laughs> Nothing Jillian can't break down. This party party? It's officially over. I mean, I can't believe that you walk around snotty all day long. It's like you, oh! Alex, 
actually stole a cookie and ate it in front of me. She sucked it up like a vacuum cleaner. Pop two, down the sink. Uh, the kind of burp just to bugger. Mission accomplished. You put that lid on there. You're not drunk, are you? No! I'm not convinced that Alex is taking this seriously. What she's doing to herself with that bad diet is no laughing matter. I need to get her to my clinic for a reality check. Alex, when was the last time you saw yourself in the mirror with no clothes on? Don't know. Taking my robe off in front of Jillian, it's definitely gonna be an emotional ride. So, it's just a case of chucking off that robe. I'm kind of nervous. Alex is overweight. At five foot nine, she weighs 206 pounds. She suffers from bloating and has indigestion and puffy eyes. Alex, somebody with a mojo that's very lojo. <laughs> yeah. 26. Yeah. Hello. Something wrong. I'm young. I should be, I should feel hot. And I don't. Let's see okay. what we're dealing with. Stick out your tongue. Wide. You've got a very prominent line right down the middle of the tongue, which suggests problems with digestion. Oh. Your gut, what is going on in there? What are your bowels like? Well, it's not solid sometimes. Sometimes right. it is, sometimes it's not. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine. It's kind of all over the place. It's not a perfect poo, is it? No, <laughs> no it's not. Perfect poop, I, I'm, I have an idea of what that looks like. <laughs> I guess I'll let her know when it happens. Oh. <laughs> Do I smell bad? Well, once you get your digestion in order, that will correct itself. Okay. And. You're definitely eating something that you're sensitive to, because I can see it in the blackness here and the puffiness. That is not from lack of sleep. I eat a lot of ice cream. Ice cream makes me happy. Well, for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, for two minutes. <laughs> Hasn't helped her at all. This has got to stop. Alex, yeah. make a connection. Puffy eyes, scratchy throat, lots of mucus, ice cream, milk, cheese. Get rid of it. Now, when did all this weight start piling on here? Uh, last five years or so. What caused that? I you know, my mom dying and I was sad. How did you cope? I, don't know, I just ate whatever I wanted. It made me happy really fast. It was instant gratification. So you basically was... ate your feelings, didn't you? Basically, yeah. She hasn't wanted to feel anything and now it's time to feel again. As you're embarking on the new plan, so don't be surprised if you feel more weepy and you're getting rid of all that old stuff. <laughs> so are we agreed? We are agreed. You'll let me help you. 100%. You can do it. Uh -huh, that's oh, that's She'll feel quite raw. She'll feel vulnerable. She has to go with it. I should definitely be a lot happier. So I'm, I'm gonna work on it. Alex has to ditch the dairy and dump the junk. But if she's got any hope of succeeding, first, I've got to knock some sense into that boyfriend of hers. Mark, I really want to talk to you about a few things. Okay. Alex wants to feel better. There's a lot of things about her life that she's not happy about. Yes. From where I'm sitting, you're a bad influence on Alex. I know that. I'm truly sorry, and I mean, no, I, you're that's... not. You are not truly sorry. Look at you. You're a good judge of character. You've got that impish, <laughs> that impish little grin on your face. It doesn't wash with me. I can see right through you. Number one, I don't like what you eat. So, and you're gonna have to make a major effort to give up that junk food. <sighs> He's been bringing junk food into the house. He's been helping her get nice and wide. And number two, I notice there is no table to eat at in this house. Eating together means more connection. And in a relationship, food can be sexy. We'll purchase a table forthwith. Uh-huh, good. So how long will I have to wait for that table? Next week you'll get here, it'll be here. Okay, thank you, promise. And lock it. And lock it. I won't lie, I like my junk food and I like being lazy. Some of it's gonna be difficult, I'm sure, but uh, I'm certainly on board if it's this important to Alex. Well, let's hope he doesn't jump ship. Time to see if Alex digs Jillian's new diet. You know something, I calculated that you have been spending over $300 a week on rubbish. I'm saying yeah. I've spent a lot less and look yes. what I've got here a huge table full of food <laughs> that I have no idea what to do with. The new food might be confusing, but it's going to save her $165 a week. Let's talk about those bowels of yours. Okay. <laughs> let's not, but let's, let's not, but all right. <laughs> You're gonna start eating figs. Very soothing to the stomach, the intestines. That's what you need. Okay. For centuries, Yes. figs have been known as an aphrodisiac. Okay. She'll be raising her libido and she'll lose weight too. And then we're gonna move on to endive. This contains something called inulin, which can help to promote friendly bacteria in that wobbly gut of yours. Okay. If it fixes and cleanses my body, it's an interesting experiment. And with all the smells that I'm hearing about, mm -hmm. you do need some friendly bacteria in your gut. Okay. Burps, 
farts all over the place. But we have to stop that. It's embarrassing for her. For the next eight weeks, that dairy thing is gone. I figured that much. I have another plan for her to get her calcium. Watercress soup. Wonderful. Watercress is almost like a superfood when it comes to its health benefits. Really? Yeah. Well, you're very agreeable. So how do you feel about all this? I'm on board. Yep. Did we do a pinky lock? OK. So help you. So help me go. Yeah, because if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm coming after Done. you. Okay. She needs to get started on my plan. She's going to have to learn how to prep and chop and cook. She is in for a big wake up call. But to start things off, Jillian has an easy recipe that will help perk her up when she's feeling low. Now, every food that you see in front of us is going to go into a nice little recipe to banish that moody stuff that goes okay. on. So this will form your smoothie. I'm not too crazy about berries. The great thing about raspberries yes. is that they contain zinc. OK. And what do you need zinc for? No idea. Oh, <laughs> Libido! Oh, OK. So we're going to blend it all together. All right. Let's You're going to do it right now. OK. At least when I make a smoothie, there's no way to screw it up. You cut the fruit, you put it in the thing, you turn it on. Well? It, it, it is pretty good. It's good. It's all right. OK, here. I showed her a smoothie today that could lift her mood and lift her libido at the same time. Or can I pour this over like vanilla ice cream? Oh my goodness. Oh, what do you think, <laughs> Alex? <laughs> oh, you're gonna be a piece of work, aren't you? <laughs> it's day three of Jillian's plan, and Alex is How do I do this? out of her element. Everything looks really scary. What's the difference between the white one and the red one? Oh, it's the adzuki bean. I didn't think that existed. She's clueless in the kitchen. Minced garlic. I have no idea how to mince garlic. But I've seen on cooking shows that they do this. I'm learning. And her sister is teaching her how to firm up her flab. So you're going to train me? I'll train you, but you can't take my training. You want to help? Oh, man. Then help. Amelia boot camp. <laughs> It's day 11, and Alex is adapting to the new plan. This is my morning dandelion tea. It's a good substitute for coffee. Mm. I've been pretty good with my cravings so far. But Mark, not so much. That's what you have in there. Foo -foo. I can't believe I made this. It's hilarious. <laughs> you want to try it? No, thank you. You promised Jillian you weren't going to have junk food in the house. I said I'd try. I don't think I promised. Absolutely. Oh, really? OK, pinky promise. And lock it. And lock it. She's not here, is she? More and more, Mark and I just were just not agreeing with each other. And it sucks. With their relationship already under strain, Mark announces that he's leaving for work. But even with him gone, the plan still carries on. And for now, she's sticking to her diet. She's blending. That's pretty good exercising, and has even taken to jotting down her feelings rather than trying to eat them. But just when she seems to be coping... What? Mark, I don't understand what you're saying. I'll call you later, I guess, if you're busy. OK, fine. Bye. You're never here. Mark, listen to me. It seems like the better I get and the better I feel, I'm going to let you go. The worse we get. OK. I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. OK, bye. Um, Mark and I just broke up. He's not happy, neither am I. Tempted to turn to food, she turns to Jillian instead. Hi. So when do you think the trigger was? I mean, you must Um, We just decided that we're probably not helping each other progress in a good way. When I met him, he was perfect for me, but I kind of outgrew him. That's enough. So you didn't beg him to stay, did you? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I was weirdly OK with it. This is probably going to be the first time that you've actually had to deal and be on your own. Yeah. And just look after you. Yeah. But at the end of it, you will have more to offer in a relationship anyway, and you will bring the kind of person into your life that you deserve to have. Breakups are tough on your self-esteem. I need to get Alex feeling fabulous, confident, and sexy once again. I know just the thing. Meet Monica. Hi, Monica. And guess how she's going to teach you, Alex? Oh, belly dancing, maybe? Oh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Down and shoulder. Bring that hip out to the side as far as you can. Forward, side, right, and left. Good job. Turn any music on, and I turn into a sex bomb. 
she's confident, she's outgoing, she's sexy. Boy, is she sassy. Alex's breakup might have been hard. It sucks and it's sad, but once again, you turn the music on and I kind of forget about it. <laughs> Her belly dancing is fantastic. Watch out, all you men out there. It made me feel awesome. Mission accomplished. But according to the McKeith mm. plan, if Alex really wants to feel good in the long term, dancing isn't the only thing her belly has to do well. Types of poo. That's right, Alex. It's a poo chart. <laughs> but Alex can't quite deliver the goods. Nope. Too hard. Too soft. Time to get to the bottom of this. Aha. There's the culprit. Mark's been gone for two weeks. Um, and it gets lonely and clean, which is a good thing. I mean, I could call my friends. Oh, sure, because they'll help. Opa! Thank you. But hang on, isn't there someone missing? Into six pieces. <laughs> Alex, did you forget to invite me? <laughs> if my eyes are not deceiving me, that was flaming cheese. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are coming with me. She's not staying here. You can eat that cheese yourself. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You will not be having any more flaming cheese. Okay. Here's the thing, you've told me that you are allergic to cow-related products, right? Probably, yeah. So why do you keep reaching for them then? Because they're good. Because oh. I Here's like the thing, them. they're notoriously hard to digest for some people. Well, you're one of those some people. Okay. Right? So I want to show you alternatives. Okay. We'll try rice milk first, okay? Okay. It looks like cow's milk. The rice milk was pretty good. It was sweet and it kind of had a watery, milky texture. Let's try soya. Okay. Now, you know that soy is a good source of protein? Yes. Okay. I have tried soy before. It might have a thicker taste. Okay. Similar to cow's milk, but not the same, nutritionally speaking. Well, yeah, that one's kind of gross. What? I don't like that one. <laughs> the bitter and the creamy mm -hmm. together, it's just mm. a... All right, let's try the oat milk. That one's, uh, that one's in the middle. Yeah, I just want you to see there are alternatives. Okay. One of them was good. I don't know if I'll use it, but it was it was pretty good. Now, Alex, it's obvious to me that you love saturated fat. Sure. That is your life. Yeah. It's been your life up until I met you, and yes. it has gotten you into the state you're in now. Right. So we need to change things. Okay. So I'm going to introduce you to a different type of recipe that does have cheese, but it's just not the normal cheese that you're used to. Okay. Put the feta cheese. Okay. Well, the goat cheese, goat cheese into yes. the pepper. Okay. It's just easier to digest okay. for some people. And you are one of those some people that have difficulty digesting cow's cheese. Top it with some pine nuts. I am so glad that I saved you from that flaming cheese. And so am I. I'm very glad. Are you really? I don't know yet. That's good. So no more flaming cheese, right? No more flaming cheese. Yeah. Till eight weeks. What? No. <laughs> no, I'm Alex. just bugging. I'm bugging you. I'm bugging. It's okay. I'm bugging you. I take it All back. Right. Alex's occasional slip-ups on the plan. I'm sick of salad. I want meat. Means she's still scoring low on Jillian's pooometer, but she's determined to be top of the class. Jillian suggested that I get a colonic, and it'll be a good flush out of my system. So I'm still a little worried about the anal probe, but whatever, I'll do it. That's the spirit. I'm sure this won't hurt a bit. Just think nice, happy thoughts and take nice, deep breaths. It's the weirdest <laughs> feeling in the world. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> now there's nothing getting in her way. Perfect poop. With one week left, Alex has turned a page on her past. I find that writing down what's going on in my head stops me from wanting to go and have something that tastes good. So I'm no longer an emotional leader. She's starting a new chapter. Perfect. Who needs a man? I did it myself. And she's spreading the McKeith word. Did you make that? Yes. She never cooks, and she cooks now. I'm very proud of her. These are chickpea burgers. Yum. Everybody loves my food. I definitely am not going back to the way I used to eat. It just, you just feel better. Eight weeks ago, Alex was an unhappy overeater, severely lacking in mojo. Gross. Has all the effort paid off? Has she finally eaten herself sexy? By following Jillian's plan, Alex is now two dress sizes smaller. She's trimmed six inches from her waist and has lost a fantastic 17 pounds. <gasps> oh, hi.
Hi. <laughs> you have been well and truly, McKeith. Yes, I have. Thank you very much, ma'am. When I see Alex, I just see the big S. Sexy, sassy, sensational. I feel great. I feel great. I look great. I feel like I got a tune-up inside. Yeah, basically. All the single men, they'll be flocking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> She's got confidence. She's exuding a sex appeal. Puffy eyes are gone. You're definitely eating something that you're sensitive to, because I can see it in the blackness here and the puffiness. Yes. Emotional eating. Yeah, I eat when I'm happy and I eat when I'm sad. See you later. What is that, right? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Good. And your digestion and your pose. What are your bowels like? Well, all over the place. I'm in the middle of the poo chart. We're good. I have to tell you, I am really proud of you. Oh, thank Aww. you very much. I really mean that, Alex. Yay. OK. All right, go and see your sister. OK. See what she says. I will. All right? OK. I know she got her hair done and got new wardrobe and everything, so I'm very excited to see what uh, the end results are. Oh, yay! <laughs> her body looks great. She looks amazing. She's got her curves back. Uh, she's got her confidence back. She looks so pretty. Oh, thank you. Yay. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> I'm very proud of her, and I think she did a great job throughout these eight weeks. I like your dress. You Thank look you. great. Very nice. Thanks, man. She's started a good journey for herself. High five. High five. <laughs> Alex's life has changed beyond recognition in the past eight weeks. By taking control of her eating, she's faced her past and found the courage to change her future. She's eaten herself sexy.